Breaking news here on CBS Sports HQ. Rams receiver Robert Woods suffered a torn ACL during Friday's practice and is done for the season. Woods, the team's second option behind only Cooper Cup. 556 receiving yards, four touchdowns this season. Fortunately, the Rams just signed OBJ, looking to resuscitate his career in L.A. Now going to have to get him up to speed a lot sooner with Robert Woods suffering a torn ACL done for the rest of the year. Welcome in two-time Super Bowl champ Bryant McFadden. BMAC, you hate to see this for Robert Woods, who is a very critical cog in that Rams offense. No question. When you look at the wide receivers, clearly you start the conversation off with Cooper Cup, but Robert Woods means a lot to their offense. He's a do-it-all type of player. I don't consider him to be a wide receiver. I consider him to be a football player because he runs the football well. We've seen him getting uh, running back snaps. We've seen him with the, the, the jet reverses. We've seen him be involved in the blocking game as well. Not to mention he has that C on his jersey. He's well respected in the organization. He's well respected in the locker room. So a huge, huge loss because that offense was rolling. Offensively, they were rolling. The, the chemistry and the rhythm he established with Matthew Stafford has definitely been well documented, not to mention just the depth they had at the wide receiver position. Remember, second round draft pick Tutu Atwell, he's currently on IR. So now you lose some quality depth at the one of not the most important position offensively for them, but a team offensively at the wide receiver core, they had strength in numbers. They don't have the numbers right now because I don't know what the situation is with OBJ. How soon will they be able to get him caught up to speed? But it puts more pressure on Cooper Cup, and it puts more pressure on Van Jefferson and tight end Tyler Higby. Yeah, when you take a look at OBJ, and this is somewhat of a coincidence that this happened, right? Robert Woods injured on Friday. They had right. already agreed to a deal with OBJ the day before. So this wasn't something that we're expecting that we see that there was some sort of uh, sneakery, uh, some, some sneaky situation yeah. where, hey, they didn't announce this injury. OBJ was, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It wasn't, it was, it was, it was a, co a terrible coincidence in this situation yeah. that, uh, that Robert Woods got injured on Friday. They signed OBJ. Now you have to kind of get him up to speed as quickly as possible. They play Monday. Day. The Rams do. They're on the road against the 49ers. Do you expect OBJ to be somewhat in that game? Is he a decoy or now we expect him now? He's got to have some production in this game. You know, before hearing the injury today uh, with Robert Woods, I felt like we wouldn't see OBJ because they had enough time to, you know, take time with him, getting him caught up to speed. Now, when you look at the numbers, the lack thereof at the wide receiver position, OBJ, you're in football shape. It's not like he's been sitting at home the entire season. You, you've been playing ball games for Cleveland. We may need you to be prepared just in case because they don't have the numbers that they once had, especially if something was to happen to another wide receiver. You know what I mean? So looking at the depth chart, uh, they're very, very thin at the wide receiver unit. So I wouldn't be surprised, Hakeem, to see OBJ actually dressed uh, for this game Monday against San Francisco. What do you expect from OBJ now with the Rams? Is this going to be a resuscitation of his career? Or do you expect more problems? I think we will see a happier OBJ, especially here in the news with Robert Woods, because I felt like in the pecking order with all the wide receivers healthy, best case he probably would be three, but Van Jefferson has played pretty good football. Now if you remove Robert Woods, Clearly, the targets will be there for OBJ. I do think he will take advantage of the opportunity because, number one, he seems to be happier just being with a different organization. Clearly, Los Angeles is putting a smile on his face, just being able to play in L.A. and understanding and knowing this team has championship aspirations, legit championship aspirations. And he understands they already were well organized without him. This is a situation where OBJ needs the organization more than the organization needs him, and I think he has embraced that and he realizes that. So to answer your question, I think we're going to see a guy that will make plays, and he will get opportunities to make plays, and I think he will cash in on those said opportunities. Well, there's certainly a sense of urgency right now for the Rams, right? They're just coming off that loss to the Titans, yep. uh, a, a game that they thought they probably should have won, but the Titans' defense was all over Matthew Stafford in that game, giving him fits. But you consider, look, they're behind Arizona, who's dealing with some injuries of their own with Kyler Murray. DeAndre Hopkins has bang, been banged up. Of course, Chase Edmonds banged up. Uh, so that's certainly right in striking distance. They want to get to the top of the NFC West. My question is here, though, 
is they play the 49ers and then they're on their bye. So is it that much of a hurry up situation here to get OBJ acclimated for this game on Monday night? It is. It is. They have no time to waste. When you look at the NFC right now, look at the graphics there on your screen. It's competitive. It's competitive. And right now, 7-2 and two usually gets you in a divisional conversation. But because of the Arizona Cardinals and how well they've been performing, you don't want to allow them to create more separation. So, yeah, you don't have any time to waste. you got to take care of your business right now. Don't forget about Von Miller as well. They acquired a signed Von Miller a few weeks ago. He probably will be in the lineup. It's an all-hands-on-deck mentality because of how well the team you're chasing and your division is playing. Most of the time, like I said, you look at Green Bay, they have the same record as the Los Angeles Rams. They're number one in their division. The Rams don't have the same luxury because of Arizona. The Cardinals are playing top-notch football, and they already have a game in hand against the Rams. So it's a very, very important situation, timing for the Los Angeles Rams. They got to take care of the business against the teams they're supposed to and hopefully be right there close to the hip of the Arizona Cardinals when it's all said and done. I feel like the mindset now for OBJ has to be more determined. I mean, not to say that he was coming in and trying to get a free ride with the Rams because you knew this offense was explosive, fourth most uh, in terms of total offense in the, in the NFL with Matthew Stafford, Cooper Cup, Daryl Henderson. This team is running, right? Mm-hmm. OBJ comes in, maybe gets a couple catches. Maybe he's a complimentary piece. Now he's going to be needed Very to much. be relied on. Does that sense of motivation for him to go, go man, th- this team needs me now? Yeah, he should be fired up. I think you got to realize OBJ, necess- he picked the Rams. I know the top two teams were Green Bay and Rams. He decided to say, you know what, Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers, no, thank you. I'm going to Los Angeles to play with Matthew Stafford. So he came to the situation knowing this is where I want to be. Now, hearing the news, unfortunately, with Robert Woods, he has to be extremely excited right now. And I was surprised my expectations for OBJ with Robert Woods healthy when they signed him was best case scenario, he may get three or four targets a game. Yeah. I think you have to increase that by two or three now easily. It depends on how fast he will get caught up to speed. So he has to be fired up. You know, he got guys on the team he already respects. Von Miller, you know, Aaron Donald, Ramsey, Stafford, not to mention the respect he has for the head coach and, and Sean McVay. So clearly this, the news was not good for the organization because Robert Woods is a great football player, great individual. But this was good news for OBJ because now he gets more opportunities to really show his worth and show the NFL that I can still play at a high level. Robert Woods suffering the torn ACL during Friday's practice. Again, done for the season if you haven't already done so. And even if he's available in your fantasy league, certainly look to pick up Van Jefferson. I know he's not available in my league, but perhaps maybe in your league or the uh, league you're in, he's available. Uh, Well, there you go because you know his uh, his targets are going to be on an uptick as they play again. They play on Monday night on the road against the 49ers. Rams be max still a three and a half point favorite. Now knowing the news that we know now, does that uh, change your opinion about the Rams on Monday night a three and a half point favorite? Uh, what do you think? I still like the Rams. Uh, this is a very very important ball game, and right now I don't know what to expect from San Francisco. San Francisco has been spiraling in the wrong direction. Uh, not a playoff caliber team. Regardless of what happens Monday night, I don't see San Francisco making the playoffs anyway. This means a lot to the Rams and Sean McVay, he understands this because the last time we saw the Rams play, uh, they got hit in the mouth and they got to find a way to get back into the winning column. So I take the Rams even with hearing the news today with uh, Robert Woods. All right, there you have it. Uh, BMAC still going to ride with the Rams again. The big news, Robert Woods has suffered a torn ACL in Friday's practice done for the rest of the season. Certainly elevates OBJ's status rest of way for the LA Rams who are chasing a Super Bowl title. Again, the Super Bowl we played at the home of the Rams in 2022 uh, in February and here's a look at the Rams schedule rest of way again we mentioned they play the 49ers and then the bye in week 11 coming at a nice time as they can get OBJ up to speed and then after that they got the Packers Jaguars and Cardinals the team they are chasing right now in the NFC West. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.